Welcome back to another part of our series here with setting up our new multi-needle embroidery machine. Again, this is the Melco Bravo X. It is a 16-needle embroidery machine. And in today's segment, I'm going to be showing you guys how to thread this machine. Once you learn how to do it on one cone, it's going to be the same thing for all of them. Before we get into that, though, I'm going to show you guys two different adapters that actually came with my system here. So let's jump over to the other table, and I'll show you how to use them and their best uses for using them. My system came with two different adapters. Some are in a bag right here. Some are actually in a bag right here over to the side. Let's toss that to the side again for now. All right, so one of them looks like this, says Madeira on it, which is the uh, brand of thread that this machine came with. And there's a bunch of different rings on the inside there. That's one. The other one looks like this right here, right? These also came in the bag. As you guys see here, these are the thread cone stabilizers. Came with 16 of them. Again, I'm assuming that it will come with 16 of these as well. Now, the uses for this is different threads and different brands have different sizes. So they're all going to use different, um, you know, adapters and things and the way that you would use them. So if you guys look in here, there's multiple different rings and different ring sizes um, that this thing can adapt to. So we'll start here. I do have uh, five of them right here in front of me, as you guys can see. And we're going to take a look at them. So this one right here is a very, very tiny one. That would fit into the smallest slot there. Does not wiggle around at all. So this will be a great fit for an adapter for something of this size like this. We'll set that one to the side. Up next, the average size uh, spools that I normally use right here. This would fit perfectly into the second spot right here. Does not wiggle around at all. Perfect fit, right? Now, these are some other ones that actually are very popular here. Um, but when I've tried to put it on there, it actually does not fit. So these ones do not fit. It looks like it fits. It looks like it's a perfect fit. However, it does not. So we would need a different adapter for this one. This one right here is very similar to this, actually, as you guys can see there. However, this one does not fit. As you guys see, there is some wiggle room there, so you would need a different adapter for this one. This right here is the Madeira thread that actually came with the machine here. As you guys can see, the sponsored brand right there at the top. This one would fit just like this. Seems like it wiggles around a tiny bit, but... To, to the best of my knowledge, y'all, this is going to be another one that is a perfect fit. There is even a larger spot for a spool larger than this. However, I do not have um, any other sizes at this time. So this is going to be the larger one right here. So we did get three out of five to fit with this. But for the other two that do not fit, that is when this would come into place. You would put these underneath here and then it would sit just like this. It would be perfect, right? This one right here does not fit here. However, I'm going to show you guys how we use this with setting up our machine. And that would mean that this thread, at least with the adapters that we have that came with our machine, would not be compatible with our machine. So we would not want to use this. However, the other ones again, we would be able to use them and they would not move. And now we know some of the best uses for each of the adapters that came with our machine. Let's go ahead and set up this machine and get it threaded up. 